hey guys hope you are doing good welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting video this is again a question asked sometimes in tech companies like amazon okay so essentially you are given some data about the year the name of the company and their revenue okay and now they want you to find the percentage change in revenue for these companies here we have three companies abc from 2007 to 8 for example, 2007 A had 100, right? And in 2008 A had 20, 120. So essentially from 100 to 120, it's a 20% increase. Similarly for B, it was 80 in 2007 and it became 100 in 2008. So from 80 to 100, it's a 25% increase. So essentially they want an output like this. A had a 20% increase, B had a 25% increase, C had a 33.3% increase, okay? How do we do that in SQL? Very interesting question. So think about it for a few seconds, uh, I'll proceed with the solution, okay. So first of all, what we can do is, so we can select these columns as such right from the table, I'll select year, company and revenue, okay. And here since we want to compare the 2008 value with the previous value, right, of 2007, leveraging something like a lag function, window function can help, right. So let's try it, so I'll say lag of revenue, okay over and here we want the previous value but for the same company right so for a in 2008 we want the value of a in 2007 so we need to partition at a company level partition by company then order by year ascending order as usual should be fine okay so i will say this is previous revenue okay so lag of revenue or partition by company order by year okay so now let's run this let's see what we get now, as you see, for 2007 for A, revenue is 100, no previous revenue, right? Because there's no value for uh, 2006, right? For 2008, A's revenue is 120, and the previous revenue is obviously 100, which is what we get here. And we get the same kind of data for the others, okay? So now we are able to get this 120 and 100 in the same row, right? That is one step done. Now we have to find the percentage difference, right? So what we can do, an easy route here is again, put this in a CT, say we can say with A as, okay. Right, put this full thing in a temporary table, okay. Now all we need to do is, so we'll select the name of the company, okay. And we want the percentage difference, right? So what we can do is, we can say revenue minus previous revenue, right? That's the name of the column. And we have to divide this by the previous revenue, right? To see if, you know, it increased or decreased. So I'll divide it by the previous revenue to find the percentage change, basically. Okay. From A, right? A is a temporary table. Let's run this and see what we get. So now we get our values for A 20%, B 25 and C 33. But we also get the nulls because year 2007 values are also there. So here what we can put additional condition where this previous revenue is not null, right? If we put that, those rows will go away, right? Now we get only these three values, right? We are almost at the answer. So what if we multiply this full thing into 100? Okay. And I say as a percent change, I give it an alias name. Okay. Now when I run this, now we get it, right? So A had a 20% increase. B had a 25% increase, C had a 33.3% increase. That is what we saw here. Suppose some of them decreased, we would have got a negative value, right? Negative 20 or negative 30%. So again, a very powerful use of the window function lag uh, to find the previous value and find the percentage difference, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in another video.